I'm joined now by Keith Cowling, editor of NASAWatch.com, an astrobiologist and a former rocket scientist. So this is the first major incident uh, involving Soyuz in decades. And a Russian news agency is reporting a strap-on booster separation error as the cause. So do you think this is a matter of human error, equipment failure, or circumstance? Let me de-rocket scientists for you, this for you. This is a rocket design that really hasn't changed since the 1950s. It's extremely reliable. It's probably the most reliable rocket there is. Um, what seems to have happened is there's four boosters, as if you watch the launch, they're sort of coming down like this. When they're done with their job, they peel off like a flower petal. Apparently, one of them didn't come off exactly right, and the second stage started firing, it hit that, and the rocket said, no, nah, we're not going to outer space today. And then it successfully implemented uh, the abort procedure. So sort of like driving in your car and your tire starts to go off and your car starts flashing lights, you can pull over and stop and get out. But That's what happened. But there's a criminal investigation now. I don't know why they use this word criminal. I don't know if it has something to do with this other story about the hole they found that somebody drilled in a Soyuz while it was in space and they thought maybe somebody up there did it. I, I don't know if it, it maybe criminal is a word you use in, in legalese over there, but you know, I don't know if there's any threat there, but this is an amazingly reliable rocket, but nothing's completely perfectly reliable. Maybe this is just the one day that one thing didn't work right and everything, but everything else did. So it's grounded for now, um, and this is really the only way at the moment to get to the International Space yeah. Station. So what happens? There's a launch, well, there was another launch scheduled for December. There are astronauts in the ISS. Where do they go from here? Well, I asked the question about that today, and, and there's so much food up there. They've got plenty of food. They're safe. They could stay up there for quite some time. Uh, they're going to do safety investigations. The Russians will do theirs, and we'll be watching it here in the States, and we'll do one as well. And uh, given that this is a very reliable rocket, it's a very basically designed rocket, I think they'll come down to the cause sooner rather than later. But, um, you know, right now, back when we lost the uh, shuttle uh, Columbia, uh, folks said, well, we have the, the Soyuz. We can go up to the space station for that. Well, then we canceled the shuttle. Now there's really no way to get up there. There is a way for these guys to come home. And so I guess the real issue is when will they have the safety confidence to start flying again? You mentioned uh, an incident, and I think we're referring to what happened in August where there was a leak discovered in the International Space Station, uh, some accusations of foul play between yeah. the Russians and the Americans. Space pretty much up until now, seems to be the place where Russians, Americans really work hand in hand together. So do you see any political tensions leaving Earth and now, moving up to space? We've talked about this before. The one place where there doesn't seem to be any real political tension is in outer space, because when you're in that spacecraft, you're all one crew member. It doesn't matter where you're from, what languages you speak, or so forth. And I think it's a little crazy to think that somebody who was up there would get a drill out and go, you know, drill a hole in their own lifeboat. It just doesn't strike me as a logical thing that anybody would do. Uh, it could have been something that happened when it was first manufactured on the ground and only got caught. Again, while these are really robust spacecraft that have a very good record, sometimes mistakes are made. That may be all that there is, but maybe there's a matter of pride here. Maybe folks say, well, we make our spacecraft perfect. It has to be some other explanation. But at the end of the day, uh, given the relationship that the US and Russia and the other nations have had, they always get past these issues. That's the one thing about space exploration. Doing it is more important than some of the little squabbles you may have from day to day. And very quickly, yes or no, um, is this all going to work out OK? Yes. We'll see the Soyuz I think back up and running. Now, the other thing is the US is going to have two commercial spacecraft that could be flying next year. So we're going to shift from only having the Russian Soyuz as a means to get up there to having at least two American ways to get up there as well. So the whole dynamic will then change. But right now, there's only one way to get up there, and that's called Soyuz. Keith Cowing, always great to hear your take. Thank you for joining us. My pleasure.